Oh, whoa, look at that. Oh my god, there's been a new update, and he has a hat! He has that one hat, I forgot what it's called. And there's Christmas light there in 2D for some odd reason. There's that, I don't remember that being there. Okay, there's been a new update. Today is half a day for me. You're still in school, dude. And further family related stuff tomorrow. So have this little patch with some miter ping tweaks and some more, and some more stuff next week. I cannot read apparently. Wow, really, that's awesome. Ding, a oh, ding, ding. Okay, whatever that means. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, the, uh, Fortress Craft Evolve has had an update, guys. So that's pretty sweet. I tried out what what's been well, basically a performance, really, actually. Um, and I gotta say, it is really, really smooth, honestly. Not really, really smooth, but it's a lot smoother than it used to be. So, is he, oh my god, that's so nice. I love that, how smooth that is. It doesn't feel like kind of clunky, I guess you could say. I don't know how to explain it very well, but it just feels really smooth when you move now. I like it. You used to try to work out the movement, though. Not have it like like here. I'm I'm jumping and moving forward, but if I move backwards, it just instantly does and stuff. Until like slowly stopping, kind of like a, what a regular game would be. I don't know how to explain it. I should say a regular game. I don't, again, I don't know how to explain, but he just needs to try and um, improve the movements. And while wow, uh, I'm still moving, even in the air, normally like that. <laughs> so he just needs to try and change that up a bit. Okay. So I have been smelting some ore lately, and I got quite a bit for all three types of ore and stuff, so yeah, pretty nice. Okay, so I haven't done very much for research yet, I actually kind of want to record my findings to be honest, instead of, you know, showing it off, because who knows, I might end up finding something kind of freaky, <laughs> you know. And for some reason, that just disappears when you get really close to it. It's kind of weird. You know. I also ended up digging a hole out because I was sick and tired having to like go on top of the mountain and just try to get to it. Get to the copper here. Just need more power. So yeah. All right. Um. I think he might have fixed the whole block stuff because it used to be really irritating just to get up. No, I should play the same. The guy is in the ground again. What's wrong with you, dude? I wonder. Okay, I'm just thinking of something. Sorry. I wonder if he added like Christmas decorations and stuff. That would be pretty sweet. Oh shit! Ah! Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So yes, why don't we finally go underground and check some cool stuff here. Get some more copper here. Except I need a power up here. Alright, because there's one ore that we need to find that is crucial. And that stuff... Oh, we'll just find out about it once we find it. So <laughs> I'm not going to spoil it yet. Okay. See here, so ping unknown. Really? Oh, we found something. It's way down there. Okay, I'm gonna have to go pretty far deep. I just hope I don't end up going into any like cave. So I'm just gonna just do this whole old trick that I used to do back then in Minecraft. Just try to dig a hole right in front of you and try to dig right below you. Sometimes it works, sometimes it didn't. It still was a lot better than just mine below yourself. Okay, so note that when you're going down really far, in the underground it starts to get colder. And so cold to the point where your battery or your suit won't be able to keep up. So that's something we're going to have to try and uh, work on in the future. But at the moment we don't really have that type of technology. The moment. Again, I like to finally. Uh, Jesus Christ! How far? We have not found a one cave. We have we have not found one cave yet. That's kind of crazy. But 
uh, yeah, that's one thing we need to try to look for, but right now we don't have the research or the technology yet. What is that humming? I mean, if you guys know what that is, go ahead and just let me know, but it's kind of creepy. Well, we found tin. God damn it. Oh, yeah, that'd be in the way, dude. And some coal. A lot of it. Jeez, it's all over the place. Alright, let's just keep going down. I keep pressing the wrong button. Well, oh! Oh! Oh, okay, I know what these things are. Okay, watch out for these guys. These guys are very annoying. These guys kind of like, they're a fake block. They're like those stupid mobs from, from Minecraft. What are they called again? I honestly don't know what they're called. I forgot. Um, but they're those useless fucking enemies that, that have very poor, poorly voice acting. So, oh my goodness. Wow! <laughs> Killed me in one hit! Holy shit! Combo bot peck a real punch when injured. God damn it! Wow! Well, at least I unlocked a uh, achievement for that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I did not know that would actually happen. My goodness. And now we know. <laughs> oh god, it's so far down. Ow, fuck. Fuck you. God damn it. What did I get? What was that? Did he drop a hopper? I don't remember having one. I don't think that was stupid. I don't know what he dropped. Okay. Okay, uh, it's right there. Honestly, I think this might just be Iridium Ore. That's something I end up splitting. Yeah, I think this is it. That, this is the ore that is mostly needed, really needed, if you want to try and transfer your energy. Uh, the thing is, it's really far to fucking down. So. Yeah. So yeah, but at, the mo at this moment, um, I kind of want to try and find a cave. I, except I forgot to freaking scan that. God damn. <laughs> so let me go and scan this thing real quick. And I'll be right back and we'll try and go and find a cave. Alright, I actually got kind of lucky because I actually started pinging for air. And that actually gave me the BL that kind of might have shown me uh, some existing caves nearby. I think, but I honestly think that's what really happened because I had literally found a cave just from using that thing. So, if you ever want to find a cave, I think you should probably try and use or try to scan for air. So, you know, it could have been pretty damn obvious though, so I'm probably, probably an idiot for not knowing that, but whatever. Find a cave. Find a cave nonetheless, it's pretty cool. Just kind of scared, Jesus Christ! Remember how I said I'm scared to even like go down in here? Ooh, I yeah, am kind of. What is that? I've never seen that. Is that gold? That is iron. It looks like gold. Shut up. <laughs> um, which coal is this? Yeah, okay. Now this is something new that we have never found before. This is a crystal, actually. So that's pretty cool. Got a sweet looking cave here. It's kind of small to be honest. I really hope we find a pretty big expansive cave though. This is my world that I play in <clears throat> just off camera. Or, you know, just for, for me actually. Just play the game because I want to play the game. <laughs> um, 
it's like a, I uh, found a gigantic overhang where my like this thing is like above a gigantic overhang and it's a huge expansive cave that goes on for miles and I have not searched all of it yet so that's it's pretty crazy so let's try and make an ore extractor and a store topper so there we go um, let's see here so yeah we scanned something new actually I scanned some other things that I found while searching my world here okay I found lithium lithium ore okay, well that I had scanned that plant so and I found a diamond crystal now what these crystals do you find more than one diamond crystal you can make them into diamond or you can make them into focusing lens which if you put on a laser power transmitter it'll increase the speed by 50% or even if you find a green one which is an emerald crystal it'll probably increase that by 30% I think it was so it's pretty good to have and I'm probably gonna use my points so we can finally get laboratory stuff going oh boy so that's pretty nice power grid I like to get that so. okay so why don't we go back down there and search that cave very exciting so there's what's down here. Oh yeah, some more coal. I should get rid of this. Ooh. I guess if you find one cave, that cave will end up turning into like a huge expansive area. That's what it seems like to me. You may never find you may never know what you find down here. It's actually pretty scary. <laughs> I'm not lying, I'm kinda of freaked out a little bit. Alright. Ooh, is that what I think it is? Oh it looks weird. Ugh, it's creepy. But this is organic rock. And it's uh normally in this what is that? I thought that thing was moving for a minute there. What? Oh, it's a plant. Oh, it's creepy looking. It is a plant. More organic. Rock. Nice. This dude needs to make more mobs, by the way, which I guarantee you he's probably planning on, but he needs to make more mobs, honestly. Creepy ones at that, though. <laughs> you know, because it's an alien planet. You know, you're not going to find humans down here. Get some more coal though, because it needs like five to make one torch. So you go through that pretty damn quickly. I think I see copper up there too. Did I scan this? Yeah, I did. Oh, look at this. I think um, I might end up finding an entrance to this cave because there's a tree here. Unless, of course, it's very close to the surface and there's just trees growing here for some odd reason. What the hell? This tree's like blocking the way. Weird. Really weird. Okay. <laughs> there's trees down here. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. Oh! Oh god, you guys see that? I don't know what that is, but um <laughs> I'm so glad I found one because I found something similar to or actually the same thing in my uh, uh little world and stuff. Scan that. Thing is can't uh mine it. Again, there's another tree over there. <laughs> I like this little cave here, though. It's really neat. Um, it's really I like the the, the generation, though. And this is but oh, okay. Yeah, this just keeps going down and down, which is nice. I like placing torches everywhere so I can see like what's there, like just. To know where the heck everything is, I don't know. Just to light up the cave as usual. All right, so I'm gonna go head back up to the surface and um, get some research points here because we found quite a bit of stuff here. So 
So I will be right back. Oh shit, I hate that when you're about to sneeze and you don't. Fuck. Oh my god! Oh, hey, how's it going? Oh, that didn't help. Fuck. Okay, kind of. I'm gonna die up here. Jesus. I never been, I never get, got lifted that high into this guy before. So yeah, it's organic rock. My goodness, I took a lot of power. God dang it. I need to wait until this thing gets powered up again. Oh, sweet. Organic rock. And make, be sure to find a lot of that too. It's, it's really useful. You need it if you want to make some, uh, I think it's smelters. This is the one that you use to make it. I think you need, to find, you need five to make at least one. So be sure to go searching out for these things. All right. Okay. So, what I, what that weird rock stuff was is hardened risen. Risen, I guess. This incredibly hard organic structure appears to be a shield and a soft, vulnerable core. Only expo explosives. Only explosive. Ugh, only explosives will crack it open. God damn it! I was reading it completely differently a couple times. All right. There you go. I like to get that actually. We can actually pay for it again. But I need a thousand. You can see it's starting to recharge a little bit faster though. That's pretty nice. Okay. That might actually have helped this little guy's energy supply a little bit better. And by the way, if you're wondering what this is, this is actually a, um, a little device that got the wheels. Fuck, I forgot what it's called. It's a forced induction, so it, it increases the power by 200%, but uses about 800%. So yeah, it's really, really good thing to have. So if you want to get your orders smelted pretty quickly, be sure to get that. All right, I'm gonna head back into the cave, and if I find anything interesting, I will uh, start recording again. So I will be right back. Well, that's 4.7 million pieces of copper that is such a huge vein i've never seen such a huge vein of copper before jesus that is incredible i just gotta get the hell out of here before i die ah i not really find you much at the moment so i think i might just end things off here might as might actually be a really short episode but we did find quite a bit of stuff but uh you know and all like <laughs> so, in the next episode, I think we might try and get the whole... In the next episode, I think we might try and uh, build that uh, advanced research station, or whatever it's called. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> that didn't work out. But anyways, yeah, in the next episode, we're, episode, we're gonna try and... Get any of that research station going. What the fuck? How the hell did you get up here? What the heck? You trying to punch Arthur? You little shit. So let's see here. So it's gonna be quite a bit of crafting to do. So <laughs> um, it's gonna be quite a quite a bit of steps actually to make this. So it's gonna be quite a bit of long episode next one so anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this game this game is amazing i love it if you want to try this game out for yourself it is called fortress craft evolved it's on steam and i think it's for about 14 15 dollars i think somewhere around there and i will link in the description below for the game so anyways guys my name is dude man and i'll see you guys later bye